Tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can combine multiple pattern layers to create some interesting designs. So, I've got this design here, and it's actually a combination of three layers. So, what I'm going to do to actually create a similar sort of design. Now, the designs are Chevron designs. You can find them on the Graphic Extras website, but of course, you can use any other pattern design as well. First thing to do is actually create the first layer. So, new fill layer and a pattern. Click OK. And I'm just going to go for this design. So now, obviously, I just don't want one on the page, so I'm just going to scale it. That's the first thing. So I've actually just now got multiple designs there. Now, also, what I can do then is a layer. And I can actually just create another one, and obviously a layer and new fill layer pattern. But I'm actually just going to go to duplicate layer. So it's just a pattern layer, still pattern layer there. Click OK. So I've got two pattern layers now. Now you can actually just go over the pattern, and you'll notice you can actually shift those over. So you can actually just quickly move that around, decide that uh, that's a nice position for the second pattern. Now, if you actually want to recolor it, well, you could actually just turn this top layer into a smart object and then apply a pattern color to that. But you can quickly, of course, go back to the last one, bottom one and go to a layer, a new adjustment layer, and hue saturation, click OK, of course, or any of the other color adjustments, and then just modify the underlying layer. So now you've got three layers combination, and they're all editable still, so you actually, once you've just done that, so you've got that, you can actually now just say, OK, I don't want that pattern anymore. Just click on that, and just bring up this dialog, and you can modify it so you can actually go for different patterns some work some obviously work better than other patterns and of course you can modify the underlying pattern as well so maybe if you want a circular design or maybe that design click OK and you can just go there and just change that one as well so just change and again of course you've still got the adjustment layer you can remove that of course at any point also modify the saturation so you can change different color patterns as well. Now, if you actually, here, if you actually create the document the same size as the actual pattern, you could actually obviously create new patterns that way. That will be another way of doing that. But you have to be very careful with the alignment. But anyway, that's a, a possibility as well. But the easiest way, once you've done that, so you can actually remove that hue saturation so just delete, just delete it, and now you can actually add another one in between if you wish. Layer, new adjustment layer, maybe color lookup, which is quite, a, and that again can be used to modify the underlying color. Anyway, I hope you found this tutorial of interest.